feel the tension sometimes when I play this. I feel like Kiaren is this close to just like leaving, leaving the gatos completely. But then he keeps hydrating me, so maybe he's just playing. <laughs> okay, so we are Queen Katano the second. Uh, no more loyalism today. Thank you for the hydrate. Mm. Just, just me. And uh, let's load the game. I said the magic word. Hydrate, yes. <laughs> Guess you know what's the not magic word? Taxes. <laughs> but tax the patricians. Kieran, I think you are the wealthiest noble of all, so I think I will keep taxing you guys unless your defiance is super high, then I will not. Oh yeah. Make your make your existence known by joining. And Rigged? <laughs> Nothing's rigged. Okay, so far we have like an even an even distribution. That's very nice. Wait, nope, nope. The grandees. The grandees need to be in the majority, as always. Gonna pass? That's fine. The only thing rigged is Mario's mortal. And so well rigged at that. Oh yeah, my other dad did that. <laughs> So what do we see here? Rodent apparently played before and has not died yet, ever. Which is really nice. Bob is already the third. Kiaren is the fourth. Luna also the third. What is what is going on? What? What are you marrying me? Did I do something bad? Oh shit! Leclerc, what the hell? Wait. Wait, is it now? I thought the race was at midnight? Is it... Is the race now? Shit. Okay, keep me updated. Haha, <laughs> Leclerc. <laughs> um. Okay, yeah. So, Antoshai also surprisingly still the first... Aza as well. Aza, did you play before? Maybe not. Lex also still alive. Interesting. Okay, let's begin. Hurari, welcome! <laughs> yeah, by now it's weird if Kiaren doesn't die. Okay, let's go through the initial stuff. Um... Little magic uh, tradition. Oh yeah. Okay, that's yeah. Let's let's go bathing. You may now. Can I veto something that I don't want? <laughs> yeah. I think I. I don't want to do the whole thing that where I lose a lot of money at the beginning. In the river, you can vote now. Now you can vote. The hydraulics of his car just went poof, so he had no power to. Oh, that's that's very unfortunate. Gee, thrown into the river! <laughs> what a surprise! Oh no. Um. Okay. Ding ding. Yeah, it's because it's funny. It's also tradition. Like, I think every one of my monarchs has been thrown into the river. So we just do this all every time. It is an actual tradition, I think. So my stability went up and my authority went down. That's fine. And so it begins. Um... Let's say hello to everyone. Can you? Oh yeah, I can do that. Sorry for being loud today. Hi, Oxalotta. Also, who did Wally end up with? Your count. Okay. Oh, you've been you've been playing before, right? Yeah, your every count is super super poor. Hee hee hee. Uh, they started the race without him and already a crash. I love the early crashes. I'm also sad for missing all of this. Um, okay, I'm introducing myself to everyone. 
Hello, Count Not Mass the Third. Mm-hmm. Hello, Kiaren. Hello, Lix. I I do I know nothing. Let's see, what are we gonna do? I mean trade is pretty cool. We could try for, to go for trade. What is this? Uh, this is 20, this is 22. Yeah, I might go for trade. Your Majesty, you have some big boobs to fill. <laughs> and with your father out of the picture, the nobles will be looking for any opportunity to replace you. When you die, how do you hope the kingdom will remember you? Mmm... Shall we try to do the trade? I think I want to try to do the trade. A lofty goal indeed. I suggest over the next few years you focus on improving the kingdom's overall trade as much as possible. Or is this the one my, th my father did? I'm actually not sure, but it's too late. No, I think we pivoted at the end. Mm, you won by establishing an impenetrable spy network. Interesting. I think that was with my authority or something? Yeah, the patricians have not had a good uh, track record. So far, the the counts have won once, and the grandees as well. And the patricians, they always start strong, and then they invest all their money into crypto crabs, and then they die. Yeah. Once you have an heir, I will return to discuss your ambition, how your impression is progressing. Good luck, your majesty. Uh, yeah, next end season, so now you guys get to pick your schemes. <laughs> this time they will work. They have to. Um, Zakriel of the Azanaza lineage. <laughs> Legendary southern Vintner. Ooh, Vintner. Stands bathed in sunshine. Droning on as in a daze. A false pretender occupies the throne while my claim is ignored. Grandees of the south, this is a stain on our honor. We must not allow it to go unanswered. So, gra only grandees can be voting... Do you want to raise my stability, raise your own farming, which is at three right now, not great, or lower my stability? Mm, not easy. I, I think like f in terms of easiness, I would go for A. Please vote now on your phones. Uh, Lex, Aza and Luna. Also remember for future votes to maybe stop and start the stream to reduce the delay to a minimum. Piastri got hit in the rear during the album Magnuson crash and it seems he's out too. Damn! What a what a chaotic race so far. Uh, okay. I think this might be easy. So I guess you j really just need to keep my stability high. Let's see. The grandees plan to hold the queen hostage in her own palace. First, they must lull the spy master into a false sense of security. Five or more. Okay, that's yeah, that's pretty doable. That's pretty doable. Now, patricians. Herona of the rodent family, powerful coastal tycoon, scribbles with a well-used quill on a hardwood desk, speaking calmly. Fellow patricians of the coast, my claim to the throne is far more legitimate than that of Queen Katano II. Something must be done. Okay, lower stability, direct competition with the grandees. Raise treasury, might be okay. Or lower treasury, you know how bad that works usually. So... Yeah, it's kind of like Loyalist. Obviously, it, the game really is kind of easy for the Regent, I gotta say. Like, the schemes are so hard to advance. Um, okay, Rodent could also vote, but not outvote any of these. So we are probably going with this. <coughs> Sorry, Rodent. I ended too quickly. Stream delay be like that. The patricians plan to incite a pleasant, a pe not a pleasant, a peasant uprising <laughs> to overthrow the queen before swooping in to steal the throne for themselves. To 
To advance their scheme, the patricians must raise the treasury to 2,000 or more in two seasons. Which it is. In two seasons? That's so short. So you might actually be able to keep that. Salandra of the Nutmass dynasty. Dynasty? Dynasty? I, I keep forgetting. Dynasty. Eccentric eastern bird breeder leans delicately on a podium, speaking in a melodious voice. My fellow Counts, in ancient times the East was its own proud kingdom. We can bring back those days of glory. But not while the false Queen Catano II wears the crown. Okay. Do we want to raise authority? Uh, I, I would assume it's going to be 5 again, so keep it at 5 or higher. Doppelganger, lower your own defiance. It is at 2. I think you need to keep it below 4 for this to work. Or Ascension, lower own faith. Ah, that's not a good idea. So, Antler, Urari, and Nutmass, you may now vote. Please don't ruin the 69 for the future Marigate Prey. That, that came twice. I think I know why. Like, f did you hear it twice or did only I hear it twice? I heard it twice. I think I know why I heard it twice. Okay, then, yeah, that's it was on my end. Uh, please don't ruin the... <laughs> oh, very... Oh! Wait, oh, it's, it's, almost, it's almost 420. It's, I like this, I like this. Good job, Tiara, and thank you for, the, for correcting the amount. Uh, yeah, we are all going to, with the Defiance. That makes a lot of sense. The Count's plan to swap the real queen for a perfect doppelganger. First, they must gain the trust of the spymaster. To advance their scheme, the Counts must keep defiance at four or less in four seasons. You know I will raise your taxes. <laughs> okay. All of this seems very achievable. Maybe I should lose for once. Thank you for the lurk, Carter. Um... Hmm. How nobles choose to vote is hidden from the monarch's view. That's interesting, actually. I mean, it will also... I mean, I could... It will also be hidden to all of you. Except for the fact that we can all look at chat. But chat can get a little bit uh, chaotic at some time. So... I feel like this might also confuse you guys a little bit, and that's kind of funny. But I also like money. I like money. A fishy wedding. Oh my god, will I be able to kiss a fish again? Wait, first honor guard. Ooh. What honor guards do I take? Hi, Rain! Nice to see you. Yeah, it, it would work better with a bigger chat, that's for sure. As is tradition, each region offers a selection of elite guards. The counts with knights of the Order of the Do Drowned Rose. You know what time it is, guys. You know what time it is. The patricians with champion gladiators from the arena. And the grandees offer the fiercest battle nuns from the Sisterhood of Steel. It is it is tradition to get the nuns. Also, that will increase the defiance of the, the East. And that's against their scheme, so I'm gonna do that. These guards' loyalties will blah blah blah. Oh. Oh god, I thought the game had frozen. I am gonna take the southern nuns. Bibbing. Hi, Shadow Moon! Another grandee. Grandee's nuts! <laughs> The battle nuns arrive in the palace a few weeks later. They nod to you silently, their solemn steel masks betraying nothing, before filing into formation behind your throne. It's been a while since I got my honor guard killed, to be fair. Petitioner from afar. I feel like we've had this last time. Let's do the fishy wedding first. Oh, I don't know. Oh yeah, you, do, you are very poor. But look at the look at the money the patricians have. Look at Kiaran. He could buy everything. Oh man. Texas. Oh no! Wait, no, no. This is I thought it was Crypto Craps. It was just the same image. <laughs> oh god. I thought it was Crypto Craps again. 
Your Majesty, the Arch Archduke of Saal has invited you to his forthcoming wedding. Your attendance would help shore up relations between... Okay, this time, as my father did before me, I will sleep with the fishman and I will marry the fishman. My own, my own wedding will not come between us. Thank you for the second tr uh, second chance at this. Igat! <laughs> Great nation, the Isle of Sol is nothing more than a nest of pirates and cutthroats. I heard it isn't a proper marriage anyway. The Archduke is marrying a fish. The groom is a finfolk, one of the denizens of the sea. Perfectly sapient and uh, actually amphibious. Oh. Well, the church doesn't agree with a man marrying a fish. We mustn't legitimize this farce by allowing the queen to attend. Please, guys, do not cockblock me. Thank you for the poop. Um, the three great traditions of the Data Dynasty. River throwing, battle nuns, and fish sex. <laughs> and as such, sh uh, it shall be known henceforth that those are the three pillars of my reign. Uh, okay, okay. So if I attend the wedding, then defiance goes up, faith goes down, stability goes up. Queen will not attend, but send her warm regards. Will only decrease faith. I do not want to condemn. Please, please do not ruin my fishman stuff. Mm. Attend? Will attending the wedding do anything? I think this one. We used this one last time. That was kind of nice. You guys are so mean. Why are you not voting to the one I want? So mean. I'm losing money if we if you do this, right? Your treasury goal is in jeopardy if I lose money. Well, you wanted it. Okay, Rodent. Go with your heart, that's fine. So now I lose money. Hmm. Excellent, the wedding is scheduled for next year. I'll inform the Archduke that you shall be delighted to attend. Hmph, <laughs> this kingdom is sliding into madness. Ah, okay, so the south is now a little bit more, but it's a fine. It's okay. Uh, faith went down, but stability is good. Can you though? Okay, let's see what's happening here. Your Majesty, there's a petitioner here to see you today. We're not exactly sure where she's from. Oh, is that the 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 cool weird one? This is like exactly like last time. I don't like this. She was hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Mm. I don't think I don't remember how that went. Tell me more about your proposition. Maybe it was two streams ago. Yeah, maybe. Three ships are docked in harbor to the west. Their holds are packed to the gills with muskets and gunpowder, and they each boast a full battery of cannons. They are all yours in return for a small favor. Muskets? The small furry animals? <laughs> what is this favor? I only wish to stay in this kingdom with your blessing. Yeah, she's like a fugitive, I think. Thank you for the hydrate and stretch. God, I wish Lex, but I don't think it was an option. <sighs> what did you do? I don't know what you mean. I simply wish to keep my dealings private. Mm. Okay, so provide safe harbor for her in exchange for muskets. Better military is never bad. Reject her, send her away, does nothing. Confiscate the weapons and take her prisoner. Ooh, fancy. I'll let you guys decide. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense that green and purple would want to decrease stability. Guns, guns, guns! <laughs> Bing bing! 
I'm giving you a few more moments. Okay. Well, now it's my choice. Mm. You know what happens if you don't imprison her. I forgot what happens, actually. Is it a bad thing? Yeah, no, we do, we do kind of. Like, there was... Someone came to us and said, like, Yeah, hand her over. She's very bad. I don't want stability to go, to go down. I'm gonna play... I'm gonna roleplay this. I don't have I don't have meta knowledge. So military went ooh went up two. That's gonna be bad for me once you guys rebel. <laughs> All right, and her weapons prove most useful in the coming months. She and her crew train your officers as promised. All right, demonstrates by puncturing a metal breastplate at five hundred yards. The council clearly made the right decision. <laughs> yes, someone needs to. To invent Meta, I mean, name it after them, like the RG2. Oh, the left side of the game is cut off? Oh, that's true. Thank you. There we go. Ta da! Um. Hmm? Next season. Oh, it's auction time! Yeah, so, uh... Not a lot will happen in the east. <laughs> but Kieran can just go buy everything if he wants. What do we have here? Increase faith? No one cares about that. Decrease trade? Yeah. Library, uh, increase stability? That's good. Decrease is not in your favor. Hmm, okay, okay. Remember? Uh, maybe right now do a stop and start of stream so you have your um, your reduced or like your minimal stream delay because this one it will auto end when the time is over I cannot extend it so if you if you're trying to do any last minutes uh, last second snipes then this is going to be important okay um, let's go Ha, nice. <laughs> so you guys want to increase military, increase stability, I see. Luna has quite a lot of funds. <laughs> I don't see... A lot of competition for C and E, so don't spend all your money. Like both of the top options will will get picked, as you can see up here. C e and C are both gonna be picked right this, unless someone does a, like a last second thing to fuck everyone over. <laughs> like what if a green person did a D, like Bob just did? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh, uh, was Lex in time? I'm not sure. Oh god! <laughs> this is the worst! <laughs> well, I guess it wasn't that much money at least. But good job, guys. <laughs> Nothing happened. <laughs> I mean, that, that was a very smart move by Bob. Um, since the stability is the goal of the grandees, uh, the green people they don't care about stability, so by putting stability down, they could be able to thwart the grandee's scheme. Yes, Rodan, you are a green person. You want this. Yeah, yeah. Lex, Lex came. Yeah, you didn't. You didn't manifest your own military thing. Anyway, an island rises. A Private exchange. A private exchange? What is this one? The Karth Captain. Oh, that one. That you allowed to stay in the capital, the one who traded those weapons. She has been the cause of some concern. Nobles have complained that she has been rude and confrontational. She does not know royal etiquette, after all. Hi, Dip! 
Deptured yet. I still like your name. Uh, some suspect her of being a cursed spy. I have better things to do. <laughs> nah. You'll find Orate pacing the halls far from her assigned chambers. Earth bounty hunters landed on the coast not long ago. They were looking for me. I did not expect them to come here. Clearly I was wrong. Uh, tell me them tell me what you did and I might help you. My crime was a crime of thought. I dare to disagree with the other senators in a matter of great import. Oh. I could remove the hunters and ban others from coming. That's a little much. You should maybe leave. Do not have anyone follow me. Before you can share any more words, she t has turned heel. Sure enough, before the day is out, your spy master reports that Orid has vanished. Okay, so that thing has been uh, resolved. A little bit un un uh, unsatisfyingly, but oh well. Spouse time. I like women today. Thank you, your majesty. I'll send out messages to the most influential... No, but I need to do the fish, man. Don't give me a spouse. Your highness, your majesty, something most strange has occurred, occurred in the ghost sea. A new island has risen halfway between our shores and the Isle of Sal. The Finfolk raised it from the depths using their weird ocean magic. I don't know, Shadow Moon. It's, it's just random. It's true, Your Majesty. The Finfolk raised the island to celebrate the marriage of their prince to the Archduke of Sal. They will gift it to him on the day of the ceremony. This is terrible news. That island is of immense strategic importance. We can't let it fall into Salish hands. Yeah, let me talk to the fish man. Um, send the queen to good. Yes. Mm, no. This one. Please uh, pick uh, pick D. Pick D, please. Please pick D. The D. We want the D. Please, please give me the D. <laughs> Hi, Nephi. Meow. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you guys for your Ds. Ah, unity! When it comes to seducing, seducing fishmen, I'm glad we all agree. Whoops! Okay, yeah. Capital idea! <laughs> uh, what? No way! <laughs> I have always found the fin folk appealing. Like father, like daughter. Wait, I'm not his daughter actually, I think I'm a cousin. Uh, a silence falls over the council. The nobles glance at each other, cuffing and adjusting their collars. Well, you're unattached, and you'd make a far better match for this finfolk prince than the archduke of some rainy little island. What's the harm? Very well, I will seduce this sexy, sexy fishman. <laughs> we all admire your sacrifice, your majesty. Oh yeah, it's nothing. <laughs> Preparations begin for your clandestine visit to one of the finfolk's undersea villages. Your chancellor has heard of magic reeds that allow the bearer to breathe on the water, but such a thing will take free weeks to track down. At least that gives you some time to prepare for your underwater visit and to buy some waterproof roses. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Oh, it's a it's a scheme. It's fine. It's fine. It's a scheme. <laughs> Across the kingdom, discontent with the queen is rising. Everyone knew she was better off, but until now, uh, it w ugh. but until now, it hadn't occurred to most people just how much better off. That's the patricians. Now the peasants are asking all sorts of troublesome questions about their benevolent overlord, and as everyone knows, once the question has been asked, it can't be unasked. Hidden deep in the spider's web of alley, crisscrossing Thalassus is an old tavern. Somewhere in its hazy back rooms are a number of patricians who have met to celebrate their recent success. It's Bop and Kiaran. The citizens are getting rowdy and it's all thanks to us. Now that they know how much the wealth the queen's hiding, they're itching to get rid of her. Yes, you are, Kiaran. 
Careful, we don't. Oh, wait, this is Kiaren Core, actually. Tan skin and, and light hair. Ooh. And that was through random. That's really nice. I know it's. Like, I think it's a little darker than you usually go for, and you like more like a gray whitish hair, but that's, that's for the sake of the game. This is quite, quite on point. Um, careful we don't get them too riled up, mind you, or they'll start asking questions about all wealth as well. Yeah, especially you. <laughs> now it's time to incite some real chaos. Show them that Queen Katano II is not only greedy, she's utterly incompetent too. Oh, I think you want to rate lower stability? Shit! Okay. So... The peasants are revolting. Tell them to bathe them. <laughs> oh, we're revolting! I get it now. <laughs> That's so good. Thank you, Shadow. Yeah. Okay. Now this is gonna be. This is gonna take a while. Oh, it's tax time. <laughs> tax time. Let's see. Honestly, Bob, the second stage is always quite hard. Like, the first scheme was very easy for you guys. Last time, I, I think no one came past the first scheme. So, taxes, huh? Let's see. I don't think I need to bribe anyone. I am... So, let's, let's see. The grandees dig up buried treasure worth 500 wealth in the desert. Oh, that's nice. Grandee's got some money. And the patricians are still super wealthy. But I I don't want to have them at four. That's kind of... Oof. However, I could I could text the grandees. But they have so little. No, I think I'm, I'm leaving all of you at common text. I'm, I'm a good ruler. There you go. I'm nice today. Visiting the Fin Folk. Yes! We do this before even thinking about any other people. Nerava, hi! Welcome back to. I think you're, you are Conte Nerava, so you are a count. Yes. I'm just about to seduce the fishman. <laughs> so you missed nothing. The Fin Folk sent a stage stagecoach made from a giant clam pulled by seahorses. You equip your magic breathing reed and hop inside. All right, isn't Nerava rich? Shit, yeah. By by Eastern standards, for sure. The clam carriage plunges back beneath the waves, and you are whisked down into the murky depths. A few hours later, hours, you arrive at an undersea citadel of kelp-woven huts. The prin their prince meets you at a grand table formed of knotted coral. Tiny finfolk spawn links swim around your legs as you sit. Ew. Mm. Greetings, your majesty. We are honored to have such a prestigious visitor. Let's get down to business. To seduce the hunk. <clears throat> a whale passes overhead, momentarily dowsing you in shadow. So you're here to discuss my betrothal to Archduke Shomo and the island I'm giving to him as a dowry. May I ask why do you have to give him a dowry? More like fine folk, am I right? Awooga! I know I need to be like this first. I need to first convince him. Yeah. Oh my god, Lex! <laughs> I did read that word and was like <laughs> not it, but I did not wanna <clears throat> Lex. How dare you? Um, oh, it's a small island. The Archduke assured me it wasn't worth very much. It's worth a lot. Really? Hmm, how interesting. The Archduke told me differently. Why would I lie? Um, this new island could cause a war between your future husband and I. Really? I can't risk that. It seems... It's, it seems... Oh, hand artist! Hi, thank you for the raid. Everyone, that's that's oh someone I don't like someone you you might not know yet. <laughs> Please give hand artist a follow. Why am I not following you yet? That's that's I'm following you on Twitter. 
Um, so hand artists, I know through Aza. They are an artist. They are also a Palico VTuber. Palico is the are those cats in Monster Hunter. So they're super, super cute. And hand artists actually... <laughs> hand artist is actually the one who drew some assets for me uh, when I was playing Final Fantasy 14. So like when I had, was a warrior, I got a helmet and an axe. They just drew them for me for like just like that because they're nice and talented. It was very quiet, wasn't it? I don't know why. Yes, the model is super cute. Please everyone follow. Also, hi Lula Moon. Hi Ube. Thank you for the follow DL Nano. Hello everyone. Thank you very much for the for the raid is the word. We are just about to seduce a fish man. You are very welcome. I am, I am. If you need to rest, please do so. Do not feel ob obligated to stay. Um, welcome, wild whoops. Um, two. Hold on. You are now a patrician. Ooh, you're someone who has the game and has... Ooh, nice. You're a patrician, a new patrician. Yeah, the patrician will need all your help. <laughs> um, whoa! Oh! Oh, thank you so much! Ah, you got Shadow Moon! Thank you very much for gifting five subs. First you raid me and then you give me subs? That's... That's pretty, pretty pog of you. Thank you. Um... <laughs> okay, okay, let's, let's seduce the fish man. It seems my... Oh! <laughs> Well, mm, doesn't look like it, maybe. Whoa! whoa, whoa. Did I ah, Aza. Very nice, thank you. And thank you for passing it on, Shadow Moon. Uh, it seems my betrothed has misled me about the importance of this island. Such deceit. He is not the man I thought him to be. What a chat. That's true, that's true. Also, Daiki, hi. Thank you for the love. Ow! What about... Why Why the banana? Oh my god, earlier when I went on Vivi's stream, I was greeted with, You're the banana person, right? And I'm like, Yes, I am the banana person. <laughs> no one knows that I'm also the eggplant person. <laughs> Thank you for the bananas, everyone. It's enough now. <laughs> Thank you for your time, your fishy highness. Why should I go so soon? Let's have a drink. It's enough, guys. <laughs> the Finfolk Prince offers you bitter seaweed beer, which you imbibe through a complex underwater drinking mechanism. Ouch. For hours, you and he swap stories and commiserate over the hardships of royalty. As the night draws on, you find yourself and the prince growing closer and closer. A touch on the knee, a stroke of the gills. Could you take things further? I am blushing. <laughs> I will kiss the fish. You spend a pleasurable night with the Finfolk Prince atop a bed of woven kelp. It'll be a night you remember for a long time, but it's over far too quickly. Propose to marry the Finfolk Prince. Hell yes! We're doing it! Oh, Shadow Moon, what kind of a meow would you like? Ah, uh, yeah, welcome, Daiki. We just, we just seduced the fish. I mean, maybe he's really, really good. Lex, have you thought about that? <laughs> cursed meow. Oh god. The cursed meow. Hmm. What is what is cursed? What is cursed? Cursed is marrying the fish man after one night of boning. So meow. So that was a horny meow, I guess. <laughs> Oh, oh god, chaos, what the fuck? <laughs> you mean he's good at diving down there? Yeah, I guess, I guess. When you drop to one knee, the finful prince makes a startled noise that sounds like a frog throwing up a set of bagpipes. <laughs> you, you cannot be serious, this is so fast, you don't even know my name. What is your name? His name is Glorp. <laughs> Problem solved, oh my god, there is. I have only just decided to end my betrothal to the Archduke. You would have me move on so quickly? 
Things move, move fast. No, no, no. This is destiny. What about your vindictive nobles and your hide-bound priests? Your kingdom is less accepting of my kind than the Isle of Saul. Love can overcome any hurdle. They are invited to kiss the royal behind. Wait, Mass, you're already in. You don't you don't need to double join. This is madness, but this is Sparta. <laughs> yes, 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 and a thousand times yes. Oh hi Kieran! Ooh, wait, shout out for the for the Mofu world. Guys, did you know Kieran? She's a rat pa a rat panda, even though she's a rat a rad rat panda. She's very cool. She's a Mofuwa. She plays all kinds of games, really. Thank you, Aza! Gifting Kieran a sub. She plays all kinds of games. She's has a little more range than me, for sure. <laughs> Not a rat panda, a rad panda. She like she's cool, you know. <laughs> She cried a lot on her birthday. I helped. I helped with that. Mm-hmm. But that just shows that everyone loves her a lot. Loves her enough to make her cry with kindness. So I think Kieran is a pretty pretty cool person. Anyway, mm, I'm I'm marrying the fish man. In fact, why wait? Let's get married right now. <laughs> we can formalize things in your cathedral later. But how many of your kind can boast having an underwater wedding? Not many. Not my dad, that's for sure. Thank you for the hydrate. Yeah, I'm gonna need that. And for passing it on. Ah, water! Hold on. Oh shit, I, I dropped it on my booba pad. One, one second. No! My booba is wet! <laughs> Not the real ones, just my mouse pad. I wasn't gonna lick it off. Oh. Who's Booba? Uh, Nozomi Tocho from Love Life. Very nice. And thank you for. Pu hi, hi, Telgar. Welcome back. You're walking in on me marrying the fish and dropping water on my Booba pet. No, I haven't. I haven't started using Bao yet. I. I don't want to get Bao's boobs dirty, that's why I'm not using them, even though I should. Or rather, Nozomi's boobs are not dirty enough yet for me to swap. Like, these pads are expensive, you know? I, I can't just... Yeah. Hi, baby seal! Thank you for the lurk and the love. I heard dropping water on boobs and licking it off. <laughs> Okay, okay. Uh, Prince rushes about the village, organizing an impromptu ceremony. Before you know it, you're swimming down the aisle, a manta ray draped around your shoulders like a cloak. Wow. Do you take- I can only say yes, I love this. Glorb draws you into a passionate kiss. The watching villagers cheer, filling the choral church with bubbles. And so we are married in the eyes of the Deep Queen. I suppose we must journey to the surface and marry in the eyes of the, your Ninth God as well. I'm so looking forward to meeting your countries. Uh, no, your courtiers. <laughs> They'll love you. In the back of your mind, you're worried. The church is not going to take this lightly. Next day, after a wonderful wedding night, ooh, you and your new husband travel back to the surface in a clamshell carriage. So how did it- Oh, ninth above! You brought the Finfolk Prince back with you? The Chancellor turns a faint shade of red at the sight of your handsome, glistening husband. <laughs> Indeed, good Chancellor, and we are married now. Ah, ahem, I see. Well, may I be the first to congratulate you, Your Majesty, but the Church will not be happy when they find out. I wonder if we can have kids? So yeah, eligible options are gonna be kind of like, not important. Well, I spent weeks finding some suitable matches for you, your majesty. But I suppose, given the circumstances, I wasted my time. Yes, you did. Oh, so the story is not over yet. Marriage, yes. Um, your majesty, these good folk are bounty hunters representing the Republic of Kurth. Queen Katano II, we greet you humbly. Oh, he's hot. How may I help you? 
We are searching for a fugitive. Last we heard she went by the name Orate. I do not know who you mean. That's a shame. There is no doubt she is in hiding somewhere in your kingdom, your, ma your majesty. Will you help us track her down? Ooh, I thought we were done with this. Uh, I don't want to spend money. Map. Let's vote! <laughs> <laughs> well, Lex has voted, so that's enough. <laughs> Whatever small power I have, I will abuse. Let it be known. Oops, okay. You politely decline and the bounty hunters leave with their heads bowed. Hopefully that's the last you hear of this kerf kerfuffle. Ooh, what's that? Okay, end season. It is time for a new law, okay. Um, stability. Interesting. If nobles vote for the monarch's choice, they gain. Ooh, I could I could buy your votes. Monarch can mark their preferred choice if given. Mm. Yeah. I could use this to divide you. Yeah, I kind of want that. You're not gonna do this one anyway. No money for you. A controversial wedding. <gasps> dynasty event. A new book. Ooh, I like dynasty events. Dynasty? Dynasty? <laughs> okay, let's have a wedding first. You stare out over the assembled faces of your nobles. Dynasty. Okay, okay. What? Dynasty? Let's do the nasty. Uh... You stare out over the assembled faces of your nobles. You have a big announcement for them, and you're not sure how they'll take it. I've married the Finfolk Prince. What? May I introduce you to your new king consort? What? Uh, um, see, the king is... Your servants blow trumpets to signal his arrival. He steps out beside you, his feet slapping on the marble, and waves awkwardly. I will do my best to bring your peop our peoples together. For too long, land and sea have failed to understand each other. He's just a, such a good boy. He just wants the best for the kingdom. A collective gasp ripples through the ranks of nobles. Someone faints. One of the grandees spits out a mouthful of wine. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> they really hate that. Oh, because they are very religious. Yeah. God above. The queen has married a fish. Someone fetch the archbishop. By the ninth, you married a finfolk over one of our eligible candidates? Oh, everyone hates it. That's nice. That means that the 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 counts now cannot <laughs> advance their scheme. He Th it's not really nice, but it's 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 okay. I'll make you guys love him. I am hoping this marriage will herald a new era of tolerance. Uh, era of tolerance. Can't you all be normal for a change? Get used to it, bozos! No, I, I want it to be nice. The nobles mutter darkly among themselves. News of your finfolk husband spreads like wildfire through the throughout the kingdom. It's not long before an outraged archbishop is petitioned the count is petitioning the council. Oh, Osede! Hi! I was like, where's the cute manure, huh? Where? Where? Wait, I have a cute manure. Hold on. Bam. Get manured. He's so cute! Look at him. Or, or them. So cute. So fluffy. Thank you for the pets. Oh, me! Ah, oh, I see. Thank you. The body is round. Thank you, Shadow Moon. You got it. Thank you for passing it on. Oh, Luna? Luna? I walk away. Okay. Could have been worse. Thank you for the love. 
News of your fin folk husband spreads like oh, we had this, okay. Thank you for passing it on, everyone. Uh, Your Majesty, this undersea wedding is not legitimate. Finfolk traditions have no authority in this kingdom. And I will not allow your fishy friend to step a single webbed foot into Sir St. Bertrand's Cathedral. Oh boy. Please, nobles, I call upon you once again. The wedding shall take place... Mm, more stability, less authority. No wedding? No, 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 no. Oh. No, I do want to legitimize it. I do want to legitimize it. Please. Mm. Yeah, A or B is fine. I, I do want to legitimize it. What is the bandoof? Oh, that fl no, that's so it's so cringe. It's so cringe. Was it dense and fluffy fur? <laughs> Thank you guys for supporting re real true love. <laughs> and also saying something like fuck the church. Your wedding to the Finful Prince is naturally the what? <gasps> Flashbang. <laughs> think fast, chuckle nuts. I did not think fast enough. <laughs> but also thank you, Luna. I love it when you say chuckle nuts. It's so it's so cute. Uh, your wedding to the Finfolk Prince is naturally the talk of the kingdom. Commoners travel from every corner of the realm to attend. For a week and a day, the capital is one giant party. Oh yeah, this usually lowers defiance, right? Many nobles refuse to attend the event. Even now, they're still furious that you're marrying a Finfolk. On the day of the ceremony, the streets are packed, but St. Bertrand's Cathedral is nearly empty. But when you walk down the aisle to see Glorp waiting by the altar, nothing else matters. Going full back eagle's root, yes. Just so I can kiss some tuna. <laughs> I am a cat. Uh, do you take this fish as your lawfully wedded husband? More like webbed eye. No! Wait, who? Oh, that's the dude who was supposed to marry the- Oops. I object. You recognize that figure anywhere. It's Archduke Shomo, the man who had been betrothed to the Finfolk Prince until you swooped in. You stole my husband! Snake! Fiend! I want my island! Ah! The Archduke is swiftly bundled away by security. Thank you, battle nuns. Yeah, he looked kind of cool, honestly. But you suspect that it's not the last you've heard of him. Ooh. You turn your attention back to the Archbishop, who is rolling his eyes. I do. Oh, nice! We got some bonuses. Then I pronounce you wife and fish. Now get out of here! Oh my god, I got an achievement! Do you want to guess? Like, someone who doesn't know. You know how you can make this Manuel lady happy? Oh. Reduce the stability. Manuels love nothing more than anarchy. <laughs> so an unstable kingdom makes the Mari happy. No! Who wants to guess the name of the achievement I just received for marrying the fish? But also thank you, Bob. <laughs> no, it's not Murloc something. Smells fishy? No. It is... I'm gonna give you a very good tip. It's a movie title. Ooh, nice. Shape of You? Almost, Duna. Almost. That's the song. That is the song. Finding Nemo. No. <laughs> Shape of Water is it. Yes, it is Shape of Water. <laughs> Cowboy Beep of the movie, Rocky <laughs> in Heaven's Door. Both of those, Rodent, you are correct. Uh, you're greeted outside the cathedral by a huge cheering crowd. The nobles and the church may not like it, but the common folk adore your new fin finfolk husband. They like me! They really like me! Oh my god, he's so cute! You and your husband head back to the palace, where you celebrate long into the night. It's hours before the two of you have any time alone. Oh... Hi, Shy Pie! Finding Nemo would have been very funny. Service customs are so fascinating. I was particularly impressed by your land horses. 
plan. <laughs> so, what now? I can't stay above water for more than a week, and my people still need a leader. Um, hmm. We'll work it out. Of course we will. Let's hope your nobles will get used to my presence. They will quickly realize how amazing you are. Hi, Tim! Thank you for passing it on. Never knew a finful could blush like that. <laughs> Why does it increase farming? Oh, I guess because like the sea is gonna be nice. Yeah, let's 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 have sex with the fish. No time like the present. Come here, my darling wife. You don't don't get much sleep. The church condemns you, but the peasants are on your side for once. Across the kingdom, more and more ordinary people are striking up relationships with Finn folk and getting married in the shallows. The improved relations between sea and shore are particularly beneficial for the south, where Finn folk happily herd fish into the southern nets. See, everyone liked that. Because of all the plowing <laughs> legs! Oh my god! Why are you so funny? Oh no... <laughs> <sighs> something, something seeds, but no, nothing will top that. <laughs> um, okay, let's do the dynasty event. And drink some water. The archbishop walks into your office and places a bottle of wine on your desk. That's nice. Thank you, Karen. Your majesty, a monk in the south... By the name of Gidlfrith has been writing a history of the kingdom. His assessment of your predecessor on the throne is full of praise. Oh right, yeah, we, we initiated that in the previous one. Thank you for the stretch. Yeah, we initiated this with with Katano the first. Since you're King Katano's direct heir, this makes you look good too. Wow! So no downsides? No downsides. I'll leave you to your wine, your majesty. Fun! <laughs> okay. And I guess uh, the Orate saga continues. Ah, it's Rava. Your Majesty, I heard you spoke to a group of foreign bounty hunters recently. They turned up here looking for a fugitive of some kind. Yes? Well, they found her. Oh no, what? Oh no. How does this concern me? They caused quite a ruckus, burned down a whole tavern, something to do with the so-called gunpowder. Who knew? Now the bounty hunters and the refugee ship captain are sitting in my dungeons. I was hoping you might take them off my hands. Oh. Interesting. Release the hunters and allow them to take orate. Transfer all the prisoners to the queen's dungeons. Release them all and make them go their separate ways. Everything looks good. All of these look good. I'm just gonna cause some chaos and start the vote. <laughs> hi, Shy Pie, thank you for joining. I already said hi to you, I think, but thank you for joining anyway. Yeah, trade has been reduced to opulent. Oh no, whatever shall we do? <laughs> okay, you guys caught my, my chaos. By distributing your votes, you defy my plan. Mm, okay, we are putting everyone in my dungeons. Oh, that's gonna be interesting. Yeah. Mimi! Ah, you guys wanted that, of course. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> you have the prisoners transferred to your own dungeons. Now Rava II is grateful to be rid of them, especially given their ties to Kurth. <sighs> I hope this won't come to bite me in the ass at some point. So I think maybe... Yeah, okay. Schemes are progressing. In the south, beneath a scorch scorching sun, Grandee Loon Moon III strolls through their vineyard in the company of a few close friends. Our oh, plans are going better than expected. The spy master thinks that all is well in the kingdom. Thanks to her lack of attention, I've amended the wording of the oaths our soldiers swear when joining up. Now they proclaim their loyalty to the ninth god rather than the queen. Oh! Vivi! Mario, why would you take... 
Oh my god, yes, I, I, well, I just married a fish. I cannot take this eggplant as my banana, honestly. But I, I will, maybe like an affair? Thank you, Vivi! Everyone, yes, this is Vivi Chan the dragon, the really cool person whose uh, stream I joined a little earlier today. They held a in an interesting panel slash karaoke performance at last year's Off Kai, and I met them again at TwitchCon. Thank you very much for the raid. I hope you had a great time with t uh, talking to everyone. Sorry for having to dip, but I had to prep stream. <laughs> Thank you for the follows, everyone. Ouch! Thank you for the bananas. Thank you, Vivi, for the banana. <laughs> Yeah, as you can see, you pay for the banana in eggplants. You, the one banana is 100 eggplants and stuff. Dennis, thank you for the follow. Yeah, <laughs> I will always enjoy your banana, Vivi. Give me more. Uh, where was I? Yeah, we are, we are currently playing King, King of the Castle. If any of you know this game and would like to join, please do so. If you don't know the game and would like to join, you can also do that. Um, oh, Tim, you know Vivi? That's fun. Tim knows everyone. Tom, Tom, yeah, Tomachi. Tomachi. Um, so this, this game is very interactive and with chat. You guys can... Hold on, I'm, I'm the queen, obviously. Uh, and you guys can join these three factions of nobles. And you can influence what happens in the... In, in the kingdom with the ultimate goal of dethroning me and getting one of your people on the throne for the next uh, not season what is the name the next uh reign the next generation something like that thank you antler for giving vivi a sub the nasty yes we are doing the nasty stuff here all day <laughs> uh, yes yes queen mari yeah, yeah, I did just marry a fisherman, but he's hot, so that's that's that makes it okay. He's hot and very nice. Yes, oh my god, please eat and s yeah, 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 yeah. Please enjoy. Thank you very much for bringing. What do you call your people? <laughs> what do you call your people? What are your what is your community called? Something something liquors, I bet. But thank you for bringing them. The thank you for bringing your fucking brandons my way. <laughs> I I will take care of them. <laughs> Welcome, you fucking gremlins. The unhinged that also works. <laughs> yeah, clit lickers is w something I would have expected. <laughs> uh, I did not say that. That's we are we are almost we'll almost say so on this stream. I I spent all my lewdness today on on Vivi's stream. Yes, the tortured. All of this fits very well. Um. Let me drink some more water. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. K to Dasic. K to Dasic. Is that a. I'm trying to figure out if that's a pun or something. Or just K. Uh, things are proceeding better than I ever imagined. Our next step is to replace the palace watch with our own agents. We already control the honor guard. Shit, they do. <laughs> if we can buy the loyalty of the watch, we will have complete control of the palace. For the next day. Oh. Oh, okay. You need to lower the treasury. Damn. Yeah, it's not... It's, it's kind... It's a little bit easier than what the... Uh, what the patricians are supposed to do. But the, the counts also succeed in their scheme. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Far in the east, Conte and Trishai is hosting a dinner party in their castle with a few distinguished guests. Hi, Mon! Welcome! You are now... Oh, you've played this too! Oh, you're cute! You are now a patrician. Patricians need all the help you can they can get, really. You said you had a p surprise for me? Indeed, and here it is! Behold! Your Grace, what are you doing here at such an hour? I'm sorry, I hope you didn't overhear any... Ah, quit babbling, you blowhard. This isn't the queen. It's a peasant who's the queen's spitting image. Mari, you can always text us as much as you like this run. Wait. Oh, to... to... <laughs> defy the grandees. I... 
<laughs> Thank you, Shadow Moon. <sighs> I keep forgetting that you guys are also working against each other. Yeah, it makes sense. Um, okay, so you have a double ganger now. You want to kidnap me and replace me. Mm, and don't worry, Munch. You can just, like, usually just follow what Bob does. Bob has some something of a grasp on their plan, uh, on the patrician's plan. So if you don't know what to do, just, just follow Bob. But the rule is we support the queen's love for her fishman husband. That is the only thing... That is like, you, you need to support my, my fish man. Yeah, thanks. Uh, we need the kingdom to be in utter chaos. Oh no, you want to lower the stability. I don't like that. <laughs> no! Two factions with the same goal? That's going to be really bad. The only goal is to get Mari permanently settled in the ocean. <laughs> Why do I have a haircut I had in my teen years? <laughs> I don't know. You had a fucking man bun? You had a top knot man bun? This is disgusting. <laughs> okay. Everyone and on their second step. So Grandees wanna make me poor and both the counts and the patricians wanna lower my stability. That's gonna be fun. Oh my god, Kieran, do you have a top knot? Do you have a man bun, Kieran? I'm so sorry. Maybe you can wear it. Oh no! <laughs> I'm so sorry, Kier! <laughs> maybe, maybe you wear it well. I will, I will reassess my opinion when, when we meet in February. Yeah, I, I honestly, men have only bad hairstyles. I, I honestly, that's the thing another when one. you're. What? Another one. Another one. Another one. <laughs> another what? Another one. That's the thing with being bi as a girl. Um, women are beautiful. Women are wonderful. Men are horrible. But you still date them. <laughs> Don't cancel the meetup. Come on. Okay. Okay. Let's meet without Mari. Oh, you you could you could do that. You could do that. Come on. Even men know that you guys are horrible. Um. <laughs> okay. Mercantile complaint? Oh no. Beached whale? Island dowry. Oh, here. More story about my fishman. Heat them after using them. Oh, that's nice. Katano the second. You can, you can call me Cat. That's fine. You don't have to use my full name. I have a surprise for you. Close your eyes. Close my eyes. When you open them again, you're looking at a map. That's, there's a new dot in the middle of the ghost sea. Nani? Did a fly crap on my map? <laughs> you got me an island? Call it a wedding present. When you announce the good news, the marshal is ex um the marshal is ecstatic. Even your nobles are grudgingly impressed. Yes. <laughs> Let's see what the council wants to do with this new island. Oh, okay. Oh god. So everything will increase stability. <laughs> this is not good not good for you guys. Except for this. The council has no need for this. No, the council has need. Sorry, the council has need. Um, so now you guys can choose whether you want to increase your faith, your trade, or your military. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bob. <laughs> I'm not sorry, Bob. Mm. Honestly, at this rate, I think I'm just going to win again. You should consider not increasing trade because trade is my goal and you don't want to make it like even easier for me. I think military has a good value since if you rebel then having good military is strong. Yeah, yeah. Revolt, rebel, something like that. Uh, okay. Mimi. The new island is completely devoid of vegetation, but a perfect place to build a fortress. Soon the south has command of the surrounding waters. The military is now unbeatable in the south. Oh man, that's, I think I might need to lower your taxes so you guys like me a little more. Stability is very good. 
I'm glad you like it. Oh my god, he's so sweet. Ah, Glorp. My beloved. I don't think it's funny. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Beached whale. What's happening here? Oh, Munch. Your Serene Highness, a great big whale washed up on the coast, right outside my villa. It's Bao! However, before I could order my servants to harvest its blubber, a finfold crawled up onto the sand and begged me for an audience with the queen. Finfold? What's that? It's your fucking husband. No. Wait, this doesn't make sense! This is not the continuity! Your hopes are fulfilled when a frog-faced, green-skinned man waddles in, his flippers slapping against the marble. What is the chance of the model looking exactly like my husband? <gasps> it's my husband! <laughs> okay. Your Majesty, you must not allow, allow Lord Patrician Munchmeister to kill Tarkus. Tarkus is a wise and gentle whale, a great friend of the Finfolk. In what way is this whale your friend? Oh, I wish they would have, like, connect the fact that I am married to a finfolk. Of course I'm gonna help them. To the RG2! <laughs> she keeps the sharks away, banishes our gloom with her beautiful songs, and provides us with her bounteous milk. Aww. Ugh. I regret asking. Aww, is what I say. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Please return her to the waters where she was born. But is she still alive? Or, and hear me out, Your esteemed highness, we could strip down the whale to its component parts and make a fortune. Who cares what these fish face fools, fools think? I care! So, here, this is personal wealth. You guys like that. You like personal wealth. Wait, no, no, we don't want this. We don't want this. We don't want this. We don't want this. Guys, you promised to, to support my, f my, my, my fish folk stuff. No, this is horrible. Please vote. Please vote B. Please vote B. The lore. It is true. The lore does demand. The lore also demands that Munch votes for A. That's fine. Please vote for B. I know this is not ideal, but um, the money would only go to the patricians anyway. They have a lot of money. Thank you, thank you, guys. You're good. <laughs> this would be so mean. Oh my god, another goose! Welcome, thank you for the follow. You're the third goose I have. I love having geese. Wee. Yeah, farming plus is also. Good. Good. Oh, right, because the Finfolk will bless you. That's true. Yeah. Oh, and the Fiance went up. Shit. With me, yeah. Yes, yes. I have, I have a spam goose. I have a goose toe. And now I have a strange goose. I feel like you would get along with both of them. So I really, I really ha like geese people are always really funny because they have like a lot of funny emotes and stuff. Yeah. Oh, you know spam goose? Nice. Yeah, spam goose really fun. Um. Thank you, Your Majesty. The Finn folk owe you a great debt. Using a crane... Wait, can I not sleep with him? Hmm. Using a crane and a team of oxen, the great whale is lifted and placed upon wooden rollers. Without ceremony, it is plopped back into the ocean where it splashes its tail and sprays water in an apparent, in apparent gratitude. It also sings some nice songs. Yes, I know I'm married, I know. Ooh, farming is rampant! Hydration, thanks. Welcome back, seal silly. From the point, from that point on, coastal fishermen report that their catches have nearly doubled. The grateful finfolk literally herd fish towards their nets. I'm telling you, this whole fish folk thing is such such a cheat code. Catano the second. I'm proud. <laughs> Call me cat. I'm proud that your council made the right choice here. Okay, so they do have some connection of this. Thank you. Yes. 
This is probably necessary for me to get a child with my with my fishman. Do things that fishmen like. Yeah, only Munch would have gotten money, that's true. Your Majesty, the richest merchants in the East have bribed the Counts to give them an exclusive charter. They now control all trade of silver and lumber, the East's most valuable goods. It's a monopoly, Your Man Majesty. They're scamming the public by fixing prices, pushing smaller traders like myself out of business. Something must be done. I think we've had this before. Oh, Shai Pai, what kind of a meow would you like? Ah, ah, <laughs> meow, meow. A mer meow. Yeah, I can do it. Oh, Aza, got a quick pet. Good job, good job. A mer meow. I could just do the water thing again. <laughs> Free choking. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> okay 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 so um so i think we've done this before so this is gives like certain wealth to certain counts um l lower stability this is good for the treasury oh no bribes this is yeah this is good for trade Ooh, but also defiance and stability up you know, I could really fuck you over if I use this. <laughs> I'll let you decide. I want to be where the people are. I want to see. Want to see them dancing. Oh, nice, nice color division here. Yeah, the grandees certainly want this. That's true. Check! Hi! Chexy! Chexy! Thank you for the love, Chexy. Oh, I'm sorry, Nirav. I went a little early. Maybe stop and start this, this stream for less delay. Um... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You order, you order soldiers to break up the monopoly, accompanied by an even more fearsome threat. Lawyers. <laughs> the charter is declared illegitimate. Many counts lose their investments. Oh god. Oh god! <laughs> I think that's what happened last time. <laughs> but your trade is now dominant. My stability can't even go higher. Oh shit. Uh. I'm gonna give you some money. Oh no. Um, is there anything? So I think the prison is probably gonna be something you guys want. Uh, other than that, yeah, I don't foresee a big, a, uh, I don't foresee a very big competition in this one. Here you go. <laughs> Merava, you do have money. All right, yeah. I don't think you need to help fund this. Actually, keep keep whatever money you have left. Faith up, sure. Why a? Hmm. Hmm. Did you try to for go for 69? Oh, F? What is F? Lowering... Oh, someone tries to... to someone is trying to sabotage the patricians. Ah, you said vote, yeah. Mm. Patricians, your military will go down. I think it did. Yep. Shadow Moon just like got a really cheap sabotage in here. I honestly don't know how to ever get out of being broke. <laughs> yeah. 
That's true, but then again, the whole auction thing is not super, super important, and I do think I will lower taxes next round, because you guys are all very, very defiant, and I don't like that. A salish assassin? <gasps> oh no, because I stole the husband! The diplomat. Ooh, sorry. Then again, I cannot put the taxes too low because then my treasury would go down and that's good for the grandees. We don't want that. Your Majesty, a diplomat has, has arrived all the way from Kurth. Are they all like super pale in Kurth? No, I don't think I always get money. <laughs> I do say, I do say taxes, kinda, yes. I would... <laughs> you want me to lower taxes into the ocean? So, um, you can have a little pleasure, yeah, sure. I come seeking prisoners, bounty hunters, I believe, which were employed by the Republic, as well as fugitive captain. Ta taxes? It is kind of the same, right? Taxes? Taxes? Do you... Is there a way to... I know the, the, the vowels are different, but you don't say Texas. In German you say Texas. But in English you say Texas. Texas. Mm. And you also say Texas. It's the same word. Funny. The Republic is willing to pay handsomely for the tra- Ooh, money! So refuse it and keep them or get the fucking money! <laughs> I'm... I will, for once, not veto, because that's mean. And I will also not use this, because that's mean. You guys can decide. Ah, oh, okay. Texas. 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 Okay, you guys want to see how this story plays out, I guess. Only Bob wants me to be rich. Yeah, I don't know, like, you guys, you want money, right? So giving me money means I can give you money. I know why the grandees would vote A, but not... Anyway. The people have spoken. <laughs> Electing to keep the prisoners, you politely ask the diplomat to be on their way. The diplomat's pleasant faca facade falls as they warn you that retribution will be swift. Oh god, no. A few nobles can be seen tugging at their collars in apprehension. Oh, Ka Kieran has just given up. Stone Maiden, what is this? It's another abomination from the east. Behold, your majesty! Continent Rava II pulls aside a tarpaulin to reveal a granite statue of Count Vuari. The statue is impeccably detailed. It's a per expression- Oh, right, I remember that. Rip. <laughs> a sad sight, is it not? A gift for me? <laughs> no, your highness, this is no statue. It seems the stone maiden is abroad in the east. <laughs> I know she's abroad. She's called the Stone Maiden. Yeah, we had this last time. <laughs> this is no laughing matter. No, it kind of is, though. <laughs> she's a walking statue with burning yellow eyes. All who meet her gaze are turned to stone. She sleeps for years at a time before waking and terrorizing the kingdom. She must have ambushed Count Vuari on his latest walk in the cemetery. Please, your highness, we must do something. Rip. Welcome back. <laughs> yeah, she is like Medusa. Oh shit. So I know the grandees will want this. Uh, hire a wizard. I've, wizard has never worked. Or the Gumba. Send an army to... So I am... Vetoing this. Because I don't want to be poor. <laughs> uh, consult the fairy tales for a solution. Mm, yeah, you guys. I mean, ideally, tell everyone to hide. That's so stupid. 
you guys can yeah let's let's see how this works we have a we have a 50 50 ish gumba chance scatter yes <laughs> I'm doing the free stuff here. Free stretch and hydrate. <sighs> Thank you, Karen. Oh. Any last... Mm, any last votes? No? I get to decide? Okay. Uh, I think hiding is not gonna be a good solution. Even though this has a lower chance, I think this is better. Let's just cross your fingers. For the Gumba. You sent for an expert folklorist from Quail University. Thank you for the quote. <laughs> According to the legend, the stone maiden mourns her long-lost love, the third god. Perhaps she seeks revenge on the ninth god who drowned her lover? It's an interesting theory, but hardly helpful. Unfortunately, your counsel draws a blank on the best course of action. You can only watch helplessly at what comes next. Oh no! We lost the gamba. Oh god, my stability! The farming! <laughs> this is not good! But hey, trade is good now. <laughs> oh. At long last, she retreats to her lair deep underground and falls asleep once more. On the bright side, the counts now have plenty of oddly realistic statues to say. Hey, money! <laughs> Everyone rejoices but me. Uh, okay, now the assassin. Oh god. One bright morning... You are awake. You're taking a stroll in the palace. Oh, please. Oh, I thought. I, I God, I thought my husband was dead. Uh, uh, arm in arm with your beloved husband. And with the help of my finful villagers, we can build underwater roads which open up trade between. Glorbis interrupt when the black clad figure wielding a crossbow pops out of the mulberry. That's not a crossbow. Mulberry bush and takes careful aim at his heart. <gasps> no! Oh, God, what do I do? No was my... So my, my immediate impulse was no. That might not be helpful. Watch out might be good. But diving in front? This is what if I die? What, what do you guys think I should do? I think watch out is probably a good... Uh, I should dive? I will dive. For love. Time seems too slow. You dive in front of your husband. A moment later... Oh! One of your southern battle nuns dives in front of you! Oh my god, battle nuns! The bolt strikes her in the stomach, sending her crashing to the floor, but she's armored. The rest of your honor guard rush forward and chop the would-be assassin to pieces. By the depths, my life flashed before my eyes. Your majesty, are you alright? How's the king concert? We're both fine. One of my honor guard is badly hurt. A physician is on their way. While we wait, let ex let me examine the assassin's body. See the squid tattoo on the side of their face? That's the mark of the blue octopus. A an assassin's guild from Saul, obviously. Yeah, I think bravery was, in hindsight, the best option. Thank you guys for making me brave. A lot of diving going on here. <laughs> oh my god, Narava. <laughs> It seems Archduke Shomo is still annoyed that you stole his husband. Evidently, the Archduke has decided that, it's he, that if he can't have me, no one can. Oh, what's happening? <gasps> Hire a counter-assassin? Call on the Finfolk. Oh, that sounds like a very good idea. Just beef up palace security. <clears throat> is, I'm, I don't want to like abuse you guys, but I would really like the, the B option. Obviously, I know the grandees would like A. Um, 
And I think everyone else wants C. N yeah. <laughs> I like how the grandees really just try to be on my side. It's very nice of you. But also, you really want to lower my treasury. If all of you had voted A, this could have been... This could have gone your way. But I thank you for being loyalists still. And in this case, I will go with what I wanted. Fish relation is most important. Thank you, Lex. Lex knows what's important. It's love. Leave this to me, Katano. Cat. <laughs> my people can take care of this. Your husband travels home and organizes a gathering of the Finfall clans. An underwater war is declared on Saul. Damn. Oh, look! This is good for the south. Over the next few months, hundreds of Salish vessels disappear without a trace. Salish fishing and trade flounder. <laughs> Flounders! <laughs> All the grandees prosper. As at long last, Archduke Shomo is forced to meet with you and your husband, begging for a truce. Bah! I will surrender. They will no, I surrender. There will be no more attempts on your husband's life. What else can I offer? Money! Trade. I like trade, but I already have trade. No, I think I'm gonna take the money. The pain sigh, the Archduke signs your proffered treaty. <laughs> Can I go now? One last thing. With immense gravitas, your husband steps forward and slaps the Archduke with a large dead fish. <laughs> the Archduke staggers back, looking utterly perplexed. Oh my god. Do you guys, like, Vuari, do you remember in, in MR, MIRC back then, the trout command? It was really just like, person A slaps a person B around a bit with a large trout. Ah, that was nice. After the Archduke storms out of the negotiation tent, your husband offers you a mischievous smile. Me too, Orzide. Though I do enjoy Discord. Discord has been a very pleasant messaging app for me. It has something to do with, like, n not not the app itself, but like the 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 season we are in, or the generation we are in. Oh, Mari, Mar IRC, that sounds. Oh, that's such a cute idea. <laughs> yes, you guys are very nice. I enjoy that. If anyone asks us what the. the, the <laughs> that was the traditional Finfolk method of a sealing a treaty, but really I just wanted to slap him a f with a fish. <laughs> oh, hi, Ones! Sorry, I almost didn't see you. Um, end season. It was a good season. Meanwhile, in the south, Grandy Loon Moon has invited her closest associate to the, her manor house for some wine and cheese and treason. Palace Watch won't accept our bribes. The treasury is practically overflowing. They don't need our money. Mm. Oh, right. I've been using Slack again recently. It's It's been really good, too. And I suppose they ran straight to the spy master to spoil the plot, too. Most unfortunate. Is this the end? Even Saint Jovine waited 60 days and 60 nights before she smote the Blasphemer King. We will bide our time and strike again when the Queen least expects it. The Grandees, yeah, goal stays the same. I'm doing good, I'm having so much fun, thank you. Um, and this also is not happening. The Kingdom is at peace and everyone's looking for a new scandal to focus on. Not exactly the right climate to abduct the queen. I could finally publish my memoirs if you think that would cause enough of a distraction. <laughs> no, I don't think that'll do it. We need total chaos across the whole kingdom. <laughs> you underestimate the, Im the impact of my memoirs. <laughs> oh, random item. Oh my god, I'm so cool. 
Yeah, but then again, okay, yeah, now it's easier to re rebel because I'm not a 10 anymore. But you could also just like give in and have me have my fish thing. And the same here. Hmm. Back in the coast, noble patrician Van Bobbington has met with their co-conspirators once again. Wine is being passed around in good measure, but there seems to be little cause for celebration. It's no good. The citizens are losing momentum. If we don't keep the pressure, keep up the pressure, they'll go back to living their normal life in peace. Bah, lazy good for nothings. Why do you talk like a pirate? Can't even get off their backsides for one measly revolt. <laughs> we have to keep them unhappy. Don't allow the queen to stay time to stabilize. Okay. Arr. Okay. So let's see. You're back to 500. You can do something with 500. But also let me look at the... So I do want to... Mm. See, if I bribe, then my treasury does go down. But now I can afford that. The grandees are fine. Because, yeah, maybe. And ahoy. You also say ahoy a lot. Do you have nautical affiliations? Famine? Oh, right, because this is a one. Ah, oh, that's not good. Something with rats. Something with r a plague of rats. Oh, no. A tasty innovation, though. That sounds good. Oh. I. Oh, it's munch again. Is it, is it another whale? <laughs> I don't mean to exaggerate your esteemed highness, but I believe I have pioneered the most incredible invention in the history of mankind. Is it the RG3? I was hosting a small party playing cards with some old friends. I called for a servant to be- Oh, he, in he invented the sandwich! I called for a servant to bring me something to eat that was both tasty and convenient, as my hands were occupied. What my servant brought me that evening will change the world forever. <laughs> it sounds like your servant invented it. <laughs> Hi, Capri. Why am I more stinky? Oh, hold on. I need to. I need to get small. What? I am small. It is a day. <laughs> Thank you for the hydration. Oh, hi, Nyanomancer! I am small, but also I must ask you a question. Small Mario. Uh, yes, and he's my employee, so I own the idea. That's only fair. <laughs> Nani? Why am I small? You paid for it. You gave me 2,000 eggplants. Nani? It really is super quiet. I don't know why. Like, I swear it's at, at maximum. Okay, behold, he holds. Oh, it's gonna be the called the Munchmeister, which is kind of funny because like munching is is eating, and he holds in the air a plate. Atop the plate are two slices of bread with a piece of meat wedged between them. It allows the hungry noble to consume two slices of bread plus meat all at once, saving valuable time. We're having fun, Gabri. I don't know why I am so loud today. Okay, bye, Wari. Um. Meanwhile, the bread serves as an impregnable barrier, preventing one's hands from being besmirched by meaty juices. Breathtaking. Naturally, since this is my invention, I propose we name it after me. I, I, I like that. In a few years' time, I expect everyone to be enjoying a nice Munchmeister VT for lunch. <laughs> uh, I don't think it is. I mean, we can hear it. It's just... Oh, you mean my voice? Hmm. It shouldn't be. I mean, I wasn't loud yesterday. Was I? I'm gonna turn myself down a bit more. Uh, okay. 
with the trademark, the concept of the sandwich. Yes, give Munchmeister royalties. No, to Munchmeister VTs are too delicious to be too delicious to be controlled. Oh, Munch, you're here. That's so good. <laughs> you invented the sandwich. Munchmeister shall receive a one-time reward from the treasury instead. That seems fair. A servant should be rewarded instead. What was his name again? Oh no, that's really bad. Mm, so let's see. Trade will. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Hmm. You guys can choose. I'm leaving this to you. I'm not even gonna veto D. If you guys wanna rebel, you can rebel. My love to my fishman is stronger than that. I don't even know. No, I don't think. I love how they were like, yeah, we, everyone is gonna enjoy the Munchmeister VTs. <laughs> I would like a Munchmeister VT right now. Take take the one-time payment. I think it's 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 better than the royalty thing. I mean, it's not better, but it's, it's like take what you can get before someone kills you. <laughs> Thank you, your august majesty. I suppose it's better than nothing. It sure is. Okay, you got some money. Trade is prosperous. Very nice. Munchmeister VTs. <laughs> Prove a massive, massively popular luncheon. Bakeries spring up across the coast, experimenting with new ingredients. Turns out you can put almost anything between two slices of bread. Ah, I love this. These are like the flavor events, like the RG2 and the Munchmeister VT. Let's, let's, let's give the East some Munchmeister VTs. Hello, your majesty. I've traveled all the way from the East to beg you to do something about the price of grain. Oh god, no! I can't afford to feed my family. A day of backbreaking work isn't enough to buy a Munchmeister VT! <laughs> Yes! <laughs> She's right, the grain price in the east is beyond all control. Greedy merchants rake in profit while the common folks starve. Okay, let's see. Put a cap on the price. Lower stability even more is what you guys will want. And lo oh god, everyone will want this. This lowers the treasury even more, but increases this. The free market will correct itself in due time. Oh god. So the real issue is I don't want farming to be at 1 or 0. So I do want an option that has farming go up. So instead of... I'm gonna veto this. So I know that the grandees will want this because it will complete their schemes. I'm counting on the counts and patricians to vote, like to unite in one of the other options. Um, I guess B. Otherwise, patricians are gonna move up. Uh, grandees are gonna move up. This is not sabotage, I'm just explaining the game. We do have five grandees. Ah, no, we have seven now for the others. It's still, like, I mean, I still lose money, so it's... You are working towards your thing as well. Oh god, and then they get the stability goal. I hate this. Oh. I hope once I have a child, the stability should go up again. Should be any minute now. The east is in your debt, maj your majesty. The kingdom coffers open and a tide of gold floods into the pockets of eastern merchants. Grain prices plunge and stocks of grain run low. Supply no longer meets demand. Some peasants can feed their families now, but others are starving worse than ever. <laughs> Let's see what the plague of rat will do. Rats will do. 
noble partition wild whoops strides into the council chamber, distraught, waving a dead rat by its tail. The fields and barns of the coast are overrun by vermin. Oh no, it, would you say it's a rodent infestation? <laughs> oh, it's another message. I'm sorry, I don't have a, too many items on this. It's a rodent infestation, haha! <laughs> Is rodent still here? I'm not sure, they might have gone like they sleep early. Rodent, are you here? Ah, uh, the fields and barns of the coast are overrun by vermin and we've no more poison for these horrible things. We can't cope anymore. Copium shipment. Let's see. Take that right and go. The coast can handle this alone. Apparently the coast can. Mm, deliver a supply of rat poison. Not great. Send a shipment of cats. Is actually gonna ruin my my day. Both of these. Hire some adventurers to clear out the rodents. I hate everything. Can we go can we go with A? Hmm. Why? This is this does not lower stability, you know. This is just fucks your own your own area. Also, if you divide your votes, the grandees might win. Remember, they have like five people who are quite actively voting. So don't don't divide your votes. Oh, okay. Well, the guys have spoken. 30% chance and it fails. Defiance goes up. Ugh. You send barrels of poison to the coast. They're closely guarded, but during the night one of the barrels goes missing. Oh no. Word gets out and rumors erupt. Who stole the barrel? Is it an assassination plot? Is the queen poisoning citizens of the coast? Was the rat infestation a cover story all along? The rats die off, but the unrest remains. The missing poison is never found. I hope you all die from that poison. Yeah. So, schemes. <laughs> Just like last season, everything was still super stable, and now the kingdom's on the brink of chaos. It's perfect. We have to strike. What do you intend us to do? Swoop in and kidnap the queen in full view of the honor guard and the palace watch? No, of course not. We need to use the chaos to our advantage. We have two options. Okay, counts, you may now vote. And I may hydrate. The sip of this barrel con- Oh my god, Kiaren, you're so mean. I think lower own farming would be a very good call at this point. The counts are super close to fulfilling their scheme. No, but my fishman! I wanted to see the story of the fishman through. Do you have to lower to zero? Isn't it like two or less even? I don't think it. Thank you, my dear viewers, for bringing chaos into this kingdom. As a manual, I do like the anarchy. But no! Rich, please. Who? Who what's like who who made up this like Manuels don't like chaos. They like being comfy and having food. Oh, you think? Maybe. Let's see. Uh, if the East is gripped with famine, it is, uh, we can convince the Queen to come and visit us. Kiss babies, hand out munch my servitees, that sort of thing. I love it. <laughs> That's when we strike. One queen rides east, another, win que another queen rides home. Eugenius knows no bounds, but what about our own citizens? Won't they starve? You know what they say. Can't, can't make an omelette without starving a few peasants. <laughs> One or less. Okay, I guess it is. it might be uh, relative. That's an interesting input. Uh, for the final stage of their scheme, the counts must lower their farming to one or less. And what do the patricians do? Back in the coast, noble patrician Van Bobbington, 
has met with the co-conspirators once again. Wine is being passed around in good measure and it seems spirits are high. We've done it again, my good friends. The citizens are in an uproar. Riots are commonplace across the kingdom. I foresee no negative consequences of this. Other than for the queen, of course. Yeah, wine and spirits. Marvelous. I'm sure the queen is already cowering in her palace. Who knew citizens could be so useful? Now then, only one step remains. <clears throat> I have two proposals for plan ahead. One way or another, we will push the citizens to turn violent. Lower trade. I don't think you can. Lower farming. Better chances, but still kind of hard. Yeah. Yeah, I think the east is very close to getting schemed. But that also means that the east does not want people to rebel. True, lowering farming. I mean, you could still like try. Yeah, it's hard. Um. I mean, Munch could vote. Rodent, Ones. Any of you could vote and tip the scales. Okay, vote B. Okay, Munch, Munch votes B and Bob has a plan. I mean, it's not like you can usually control, really, where you lower the farming. Diabolical! Why, you might even call it evil. No, if it's for their own goat, when you think about it, everyone will be better off with Herona on the throne. With this final push, we will ensure the queen soon has more than just a few angry peasants on her hands. Yes, and once the fighting starts, I'll be right here, ready to step in and negotiate. For the final stage, combined farming to 15 or less. So we are at 18. That's not so hard. Why is that so easy? Hmm. Yes. Okay. Mm. Stop the count could be funny. Mm. Yeah. Let's try. Can I get an air? Yeah! Oh god, no, I don't want the point point, the, 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 the dot dot dot. Ah, ah, ah. Your marriage to Glorp has le leaped from strength to strength over the past few months. Truly, you found your soulmate. And every day you count your blessings. But... It's high time you thought about an heir. Well, you finally married. Something's still missing. You need an heir. You need someone young whose loyalty is assured. A child of your own would do the trick, even if they're a bastard. Or the youngest of your many cousins. Oh nice. Is, is Max first? My husband and I will have a child together. Ah, the traditional method. <laughs> of course, yeah. No one will object to that. I arrange for you to take a month off from ruling, so you can ahem, get down to business. Explosion at the port? An eerie feeling. Oh boy. That might lower trade, but you want to lo lower farming. Half fish air would be uninteresting, and I doubt I doubt the trades will show up. Mm, oh Shai Pai. I am most pleased with the new prison we built on my land, but the prison wardens believe the prison warden believes that the whole building is cursed. She refuses to allow us to transfer any prisoners there. Why in the seven hells do they believe that? <laughs> Fish Faction DLC, please thanks, yes. Nobody knows, they just say it gives them a creepy feeling. What should we do? Okay, all of the guards to stop complaining, have the High Inquisitor perform an exorcism, paint puppies and clowns all over the prison to make it less creepy. <laughs> Raise the prison to the ground. That's so fun. Um. Alright, now you guys can... You guys, I can have stability. 
Also raises defiance. You don't want that. Since you're so close to finishing your things. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick one. So, I give you the chance now to stop and start the stream to reduce your delay. And now you have 15 seconds. I guess we're going with puppies. Thank you for giving me some stability back. <laughs> There's nothing less scary than puppies. And clowns! Those honking, squeaking bringers of joy. <laughs> Soon enough, the prison is covered in colorful image of giant, playful puppies and enormous, laughing clowns. The effect is more troubling than you'd hoped. By all that is holy, your majesty, this hasn't solved anything. <laughs> the guards are still avoiding my prison like the plague. We shut it down until this is sorted out. Oh, that's why stability goes up, because the prism is gone. <laughs> Interesting. Explosion at the port. Oh, boy. Your Majesty, a ship exploded at the port. Oh, no. No, it's on my head now. <laughs> it showed my... It went on my head. The water swelled like a tidal wave and my whole town was devastated. How could this happen? Who angered the fishmen? I have no idea, your esteemed highness. All I know is that the ship arrived from Kurth just yesterday and now my docks have been destroyed. Oh, depths below. Okay, trade is dynamic. <laughs> um, and oh, I'm sorry, Ones, you, you lost a lot of money. If I may. This may be the promised retribution from Kurth. Retribution? This was an attack. You cannot let this stand, your majesty. Huh. That's a lot of options. Ban exports to Kurth and place high tariffs on their goods. Will increase authority and lower trade. Um, command Orate to patrol... Like, But we don't have... Oh wait, we have her! Yeah. Increases authority and military. Lowers trade. Focus on rebuilding and avoiding angering Kurth further. Increases defiance, lowers authority, lowers trade, and that sucks. Hand or read over to Kurth. Hmm. I'm gonna veto this one. You guys, you guys get to do the rest. Yeah, I wanted the bounty as well, but I don't know. I like how the, the ship is twitching when I when I move my ears. Ah, it's gone. Okay. We are seeing this through, I think. I think. This will surely be considered an escalation by Kurth. I hope the council knows what it's doing. It does not. Thank you. Oh god, no, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Trade is modest. Hmm. Oh, already end of season. Can I get an air? A plot uncovered? Trade war? And something something priest. A murdered priest? Hydration, thanks. Actually, hmm. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I've been drinking too much water. <laughs> no funding. No, apparently not. I don't know why. Uh, thank you for passing it on, Lex. And Kiaron, what kind of a meow can I give you? Oh, I've held him off as long as I can. Let's see if I can remember the foreign... Oh! <laughs> Hold on. Um... Yeah. <laughs> I think it was just like that, right? Yeah. Um... <laughs> Thanks. 
<laughs> go, Alonso. Paris is gone anyway. Go, Alonso. Um, I've held him off as long as I can, Your Majesty, but Count Not Mass the Third insists on an audience. Apparently, it concerns the end of the world. Though privately, I think he's gone off the deep end. Oh, Mass, what are you doing? We've not much time, Your Highness. Let me present to you my grand theory. What I call the Schematica Maxima. Remove this confused person. <laughs> no, I'll hear him. First off, your marriage to the Finfolk Prince? Be careful what you say next. A manufactured spectacle meant to distract and confuse. But I saw through it immediately. No. While everyone focuses on that, frog people from the south schemed to take the throne and usurp the queen. Straight forward from here... The frog people, led, led by Grandee Zacriol, manipulate the kingdom's trade, farming, military, and even faith to achieve their nefarious goals. If they succeed, Zacriol will take the throne, plunging the kingdom into a reign of amphibian terror. Terror! Mandatory pond spawning and fly eating. Do you like eating bugs, your grace? I should have just imprisoned him. The only question is, what will you do about it? Alonso, yes! <laughs> oh god, I should have just imprisoned him. To absolutely nothing. Arrest this fool. Investigate fully. Can we please arrest this fool? <laughs> Can we please arrest this fool? <laughs> Mass, what the fuck? <laughs> it's time for not Mass the fourth, honestly. Wait, why are you voting B? Oh no, that's Shadow Moon, sorry. <laughs> The frogs will rise. No. <laughs> oh god. Thank you guys. Aha! Oh ho 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 ho! Of course you persecute me. This fits right into my model. And the rut goes all the way to the top. Before he can continue, the palace watch yank him away with enthusiasm. Surprisingly, the rest of the counts barely react to the arrest, instead looking quite relieved. Everyone liked that. I'm sorry, Maz. Paris had DRS. Oh shit, that's really... Oh man, Ava must be so thrilled. Just like, he likes watching, obviously. Yeah, trade war. Oh, everyone went down. Why? Oh, because I'm, I made a war, yes. Uh, my stability! <laughs> Your Majesty, the Republic of Kurth has levied extreme trade sanctions against us for our perceived crimes against them. Notably, our, your refusal to surrender Orate and their custody. To their custody. What can we do about it? That's for the Council to decide. Kurth must also be suffering from this, but we can't afford to wait them out. Our people will soon run out of basic necessities. I don't want war with Kurth! There's so many options! <laughs> Escalate the trade war by raising tariffs. We'll reduce trade even harder. Reduce stability. Increase this. Everyone loses wealth. And oh, this is this is like a, the path to rebellion. Import essential goods from Ashmead instead of Kurth. Increases farming, which you guys don't want, I know. Um, lower tariffs. And offer exclusive trade routes to Kurth as concessions. Lowers my authority. Send the navy to take Kurth's goods by force. Yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, trade is, has been more um, more impacted for sure. Yeah, it was a high total, but if if the last scheme is always um, relative, then the goal might have not been super bad. Anyway. I... I want to stop this horrible war. I know that the patricians and the counts will not want this, because it will increase farming. And the rest, yeah, I guess... So either peace or war.
I mean, this is probably gonna affect everyone. I assume it'll affect everyone's farming. Since this is a whole, whole nationwide thing. So you want war. Why are you all so, so bloodthirsty? Yes. I'm, I'm not deciding this. Why are you guys so war, war wild? Oh, well, my authority is good though. <laughs> and oh no, the military coast is weak. Uh, the coast military. The navy starts patrolling the ghost sea, intercepting Kurth vessels and taking plunder where they can find it. Of course, Kurth is quick to respond in kind. The trade war heats up, flaring into open battles on the high seas. Maybe you should go watch a, a arena battle again and just drown when the things break. So what is this? A murdered priest. Priest has been attacked by a mob of ruffians in a village in the east. The poor man, rest his soul, was beaten to death. Yes, this is a terrible crime, but there are mitigating factors. The east has been suffering from a terrible famine. Is that a reason to beat up a priest? A priest in question was known for be oh to be hoarding food for himself, and yet he lectured his starving flock about the importance of charity. Can you blame the serfs for reaching as they did? No, I don't. How dare you defend them? They beat an innocent man to death. Track down the peasants responsible and hang them. Send the archbishop to the village to do- Oh, that's nice. Or no action shall be taken. I want- B is nice. Hi, Haku. Thank you for the love. I'm hungry. I I already ate all of my snacks. <laughs> oh, oh Haku, you need to join uh you need to join first. You need to type Exclamation point join and then your pronoun of choice and then you can vote. I can eat Randy's nuts. Mm. Well, Karen, it's not it's it's been more time since I ate last. I ate at like two thirty. Yeah, so six hours ago something. Uh, hop to it. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> what, you expect me to give out bread to the people who murdered a member of my church? Hop to it. Don't make me repeat myself. The council has spoken, your holiness. My stability! Oh hey, face goes up. Faith. -a. The archbishop goes with great reluctance, but when he arrives in the village with his sacks of food, he's all smiles and forgiveness. The popularity of the church skyrockets. He uses his newfound popularity to blame the crown for the East's predicament. The peasants r turn on you and mutter about revolution. It's a petty but effective revenge. Bitch! Oh, it is auction time. Um, this is what you guys want. This is what no one wants. But also... Ah, this is so mean, because... The grandees and the counts both want this? But uh, not the grandees, the patricians. But the patricians also don't want the, the counts to to go on. I mean maybe maybe some grandee could try to sabotage. If you actually increased farming, that would be the big big sabotage. Ooh. Interesting things can happen in this auction. Let's see. Vote D and C? What the fuck? I don't understand that. If 
the counts get A, we lose. That is true. But how does C and D help the grandees? I mean, I guess, yeah, stability. Oh, we get a new... Shy Pai gets a new prison. Maybe that's one's not haunted. But the counts, they do want their, their deer park. Remember the delay if you want to do any last second fundings. Oh, there we go. Farming is on one. And trade went up. Okay. Oh, shit. Wait, this is an immediate win? win? Your Majesty, the East is suffering a terrible food fortage. My, my fishman Romans! They've asked you to visit them and bolster the morale of their starving peasants. Ugh, must I? This will be painless. I will be abducted and replaced. You bid a fond goodbye to your husband. Oh, no! Goodbye, dear. It's so nice to see you helping out the peasants. After braving haunted forests oh, and much churned roads, you re should reach your destination in Eastern City. The streets are dotted with starved beggars, their ribs sticking through their skin. Your Highness, I'm so glad to see you. Come, let's lend our aid to the needy. You spent the day handing out munch by <laughs> <laughs> you know, they have veal and tomato. <laughs> uh, to a hungry mob, as the sun sets, Conte Antrashai invites you back to their castle. Antler, I'm never gonna visit your castle! Welcome, welcome. Take a seat by the fire, your grace. Can I get you a drink? No need. Ah, suit yourself. More for me. Your southern battle nuns take their seats behind you, watching Conte Antrashai carefully. Can I avoid this in any way? Actually, Your Grace, I had something I wanted to speak to you about alone. Hi, Tinsel! <laughs> Send your honor guard- no. Tell them that your honor guard will stay put. Can I avoid this? I'm sorry, but I simply must insist. Conte Antrashai yanks down the lever, clever dis disguised as a candlestick. A giant trapdoor swings open beneath your honor guard. They drop down into the darkness below without even enough time to scream. Make a dash for the door. Before you can make it five yards, a dozen eastern knights burst through the door and seize you roughly. Mm. Nice. A blade is pressed against your throat. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> There's someone I want you to meet. You hear soft footsteps, a curtain parts, and you are suddenly confronted by... Yourself. What is the meaning of this? Well, aren't you a stunner? <laughs> oh no, they just repeat what I say. The voice is almost, but not quite, identical to your own. My fishman will notice! A little too nasal. Mm. Do you like it? Took a year of training to get the voice right. You will never get away with this. I'm willing to roll the dice. Men? Eastern knights holding you hostage bundle you toward the door. Quick, we must make sure her body won't be discovered. Ah, I was so... I was doing so well. But the counts... A bag is stuffed over your head and your arms tied behind your back. Mm. You were loaded onto a mule like, sack of, like a sack of grain. As you jolt around on the mule, you have plenty of time to contemplate. Your upcoming demise. It's funny, the kingdom won't even notice you're gone. <laughs> the floor will notice. I will hydrate. I guess I can eat soon, though. Perhaps Glorp will realize, but by then it'll be too late. You'll already be dead. When the bag is whipped off your head, you find yourself standing over a mist-shrouded waterfall. Far below, the white water churns and seethes. Any last words? May the seventh god feast on your eyeballs in hell. Can we work this out? Beautiful view up here. <laughs> Why not take a closer look? Conta Antrashai takes a step back and kicks you nonchalantly off the edge. 
Antler! Why? <laughs> it's a long way down. Your screams are drowned out by the thundering water. Long live the new queen. Same as the old queen. Seeing double. You were replaced as part of the doubleganger, the doubleganger scheme. Yeah. Nobody would ever know that the queen had been replaced by an imposter. It isn't mentioned in history books. Only the counts knew and they took the secret to their graves. The grandee's attempt to worm their way into the palace was uncovered and a number of arrests were made. <laughs> <laughs> Luna! <laughs> Grandy Luna Moon III ended her life chained upside down to a dungeon wall. Unable to convince the peasants to act in time, the patrician scheme fizzled into irrelevancy. Perhaps next time they'd take matters into their own hands instead of hinging their plans on the whims of common folk. The Count's doppelganger was in power long enough to name Salandra as her heir before meeting her own unfortunate end. The Count's grip on the crown was secure for now. <sighs> oh, so the next one will look the same, right? So Queen Catano II, the absolutist, because I was very, very authoritative. Glorb of the coast. Ah oh, no, Salandra will be the successor. Wealthiest noble, Kiaran. Poorest noble, Ones. Kingdom. This is the new person. Actually, let me just... Uh, nah, it's fine. Taken, taking a screenshot for my thumbnails. Can save some time on this. 